what is going on basehead family in this video i'm going to be showing y'all what this build cost me now this build had six twelves two tarants 8k eight ds18 mids and super tweeters let's get into it thank y'all so much for checking into this video really really appreciate each and every one of you uh, real quick if i look any different today i got swacked in the eye over here pretty good was just doing some yard work the other day and a limb came up and hit me pretty good right in the eye but we are on the mend so doing a lot better now kind of my point for this video is i want to really show y'all guys what it costs to do a build like this so if you want to do one yourself you'll have an idea of what it is going to run you now a couple of these items companies sent me so i'm just going to kind of tell you they're more low-end retail price so you have a better idea of what something like this would actually cost First up, let's get into the big ticket item here. That is, of course, these Dead Game Huracan subs. These are 12-inch subs. Now, I did pay for these, but because I made a bunch of videos with them, I did get a discount. So, kind of pointless for me to say what exactly I paid. But, I have seen these things as low as uh, 330 bucks, And for a sub of this caliber, that seems pretty reasonable. And there should be some other subs similar that are somewhat similar to that price so for all six of these bad boys that would come to one thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars now these subs were absolutely flawless guys they deliver a really really great overall quality of sound they get loud and they get low so so happy to have gotten to use them in this build everything about them was just absolutely awesome definitely go check out the full length review on these if you want to see more another item would be of course the box they were in now i built this box last year for the previous show so not really going to include that in this cost um i believe this box was a couple hundred bucks but depending on the price of wood depending on who you have build your box it could be a couple hundred it could be a couple thousand so again not including that in this but you will have to include that if you're planning on building a full system from the ground up now real quick for anybody wondering why i took the 612s out of this build for now i have several single sub reviews to do for y'all so went ahead and pulled those out so i can knock out those reviews but i do plan to attend ruckus this fall so we'll be putting everything back in when it comes time for that next up we have these two big beautiful amps these are the tar amps base 8ks they are the one ohm version now, I want to give Paul over at G2 Dynamics a huge, huge shout out here. He had the best price on these. These things were $630 a piece, which at least at the time was the best price that there were on these things. And he was awesome. He had these things shipped out to me super, super fast. Both were in great condition and ready to go. So once again, Paul, thank you so, so much. I will have links in the description below to most of the items here that I do go over in this video should you want to check them out next up we built these door pods for this thing this was a ton of fun and this was the best performing video out of the whole build was building these things so i really really appreciate y'all for watching now i already had the wood and the screws and stuff lying around so not going to count those but i did have to buy the mids and the super tweeters now of course we had ds18 six and a half inch mids and their billet super tweeters and the total for that came out to $373.69. And in my opinion, these things were every bit worth it. Now that being said, one thing I was super not happy with was this uh, pleather that I put on. It just did not want to stay down, did not want to stick correctly. A lot of it because I used this uh, spray foam to fill in all the gaps behind it. Just did not stick to that at all. So I am going to be pulling all this out 
I'm going to be rhino lining this. Y'all, that should look really, really good. So stick around for that video. Should be coming to y'all here soon. Another big thing to mention is when doing this, I did sound deaden the entire roof. Uh, pretty much everything, the entire back of this floor, the rear hatch, all the sides, all the doors. But then I used 80 mil sound deadening and that all came to $106.73. Now for putting down all that sound deadener, I did have to buy a, a sound deadening roller or a seam roller. I actually ended up uh, getting several because Amazon messed them up. But this was the nicer one that I got. It has little bearings in it, and it's overall pretty good. Little build quality, and it did really, really well. And uh, at the time, it was uh, like $7.46. Another thing we got was we got this TS400 X4 uh, tar amps, but this was sent to me, guys, so I'm not going to include that. I think these things go for around 100 bucks or so. But overall, it was an awesome, awesome amp. Sounded really good. It hasn't given me any problems whatsoever yet. Now, there were some other little things that I had to order, and that included some ring terminals. That was $13.32. Some 2-watt lugs. That was $15.96. I had to get two uh, sky-high 3-foot RCAs to run to each of my tar amps. That was another $13.45. I did have to order a good deal more wire. That was another $213.45. Had to get a distribution block for the RCAs. That was $40. And then lastly, I had to order some fuses. And that was $29.95. Now, everything that I mentioned here brings me to a grand total of $4,054.01. I'll just show y'all kind of that list right there. That is what we came to, guys. Now, I do just want to make sure that I do mention that that did leave out a bunch of stuff you would need to build a system like this that does not include the alternator, that does not include the head unit, that does not include a lot of the wire I had purchased before to run from the front of the car to the back. Um, just all kinds of stuff like that, guys. It not, uh, does not include the floor that I built on the bottom of the car for where the sub sits. does not include the wall. I built to mount all the amps so there is a ton of other stuff you would have to get to build something like this but that is at least close to my cost to get everything up to this point over last year's build thank you so much guys that's gonna do it for this video this build was a ton of fun and y'all it's not going anywhere like I said we'll be throwing everything back in here for ruckus here in a few months so stay tuned for more videos on that stay tuned for more sub reviews Got some other awesome stuff coming, guys. But like I said, that's going to do it. Remember, y'all, keep basing on. Hey, buddy. So I uh, spent so much on car audio this past month that I can't buy you food. So you're just going to have to resort to mice. Good?